Hello and welcome once again to MG Tracy. We're here in Walmart, this time in California, having a look at the latest range of vacuums they've got here. Now the price of robot vo vacuums has really come down in the last six months or so. If you've got a fairly simple home or you've got a lot of hard floors, then they are fine. If you've got anything that has carpet and hard floors, it's more tricky. Now these are some of the brands you'll find in the States. We don't have in the UK, Tiny Cone is one of them. Um, Shark, we do. A lot of the current Shark range is really very good. Has good HEPA filtration, um, good pricing. Um, I've recently tested this wand system and I've been using it for a month. It is surprisingly good. Yes, you've only got about a 12 minute battery life, but for quick jobs, it's really good. Now for cleaning the car, sometimes it's a bit laborious to get your main vacuum out. So in Walmart, there's lots of these little ones. I think everyone's heard of a Black & Decker Dust Buster, but some of the newer ones, including again the Shark here, they have a lot more power. And if you're trying to get rid of hair or pet hair out of your car, then you're gonna want something gutsy like that that will actually really do it. Um, again, there's quite a range, a lot of shark stuff here. Bissell, they don't seem to sell the brand leader in the UK now, which is Dyson. They certainly used to in Walmart. So what you're looking at here is the core range of the shark, the sub $200 here. The lift away is a simple idea, isn't it? You can disconnect the beat bar at the bottom and carry it up the stairs like that. Now, you think you're never gonna want to do that. Actually, it's really useful. Um, I use that a lot. And again, for vacuuming your car, that's quite a good system. So at around 159, these are quite difficult to beat. They are boxy and old, and there's a lot of filters you've either to wash or keep replacing, um, which is disappointing. There can be up to six, I think, in some of the sharks. Another thing I don't like is this odor neutralizer. You can see it's a little disc there. It's in a lot of the sharks now. It's something else you've got to buy every month, and it's supposed to just give your air coming out of your vacuum a nice smell so you don't get that wet dog smell that you sometimes can with a vacuum if you are getting a wet dog smell you need to clean your vacuum or like here you need to change the filters there i wouldn't try and cover it with a nice pleasant smell there's something that needs to be cleaned in your vacuum it's very easy to vacuum out a little bit of moisture now the bottom end here from 59 dollars you really get what you think for the money. They won't be heaper class. They are quite noisy. Sometimes they don't have a very long cable, but at the end of the day, they're putting some of the dust back into the air. I think you've got to be over $100 now, really, to have a clean air in your house, particularly if you've got a pet or if you're an asthmatic and you're having to vacuum your bed uh, regular because bed mites and their feces, they are tiny. And the last thing you want them is blowing around in the air. Hoover, uh, you don't see it a lot in the UK now. It tends to be a bit bigger in um, the Vax brand, which is where a lot of the uh, carpet shampooers are. And they've certainly taken a bit of a lead in my eye. So Hoover and Vax are owned by the same company. Shark and Ninja, of course, are owned by a Chinese company. Now, one of the things to remember if you're doing carpet shampooing, make sure you've bought your manufacturer's correct liquid. Even more importantly, be really pedantic in measuring it out. If you get this wrong, you're going to get poor results or worse, alter the colour of your carpet. One of the reasons that I quite like the, the uh, Hoover that we're going to see in a minute, it doesn't have that type of beat bar. That's really for a normal vacuum cleaner. It's not ideal for shampooing carpets and yet most manufacturers have gone with that because that's how they're tooled up and that's how their machines are. But actually what you'll see that Hoover and in the UK, the Vax, they've got a different system. They've got brushes that spin um, uh, horizontally in opposite directions. So they mimic the action of a human actually scrubbing a uh, stain off the carpet and I've tried it, you can watch my video on it, it's really good. It also has a heat blast function, so it can be dry in an hour. A lot of these shampoo uh, shampoo machines claim they can be dry in 30 minutes. They might be, but then you haven't really deep cleaned your carpet, you won't have got out most of the smell and mess that's deep in your carpet. You need to use the full um, setting on these machines.